Hi, Thread World. It's me. I'm back and I'm vlogging. Ooh, this is so crazy. <music> kind of. Okay, not exactly crazy. Ah! It's the 19th of July, 2022, and I am sweltering. It's just so hot. Today is like the hottest day of the freaking year, especially in the UK. And I am sweating. I went to the movie theaters and I thought that it's gonna cool me off, but I'm not cooled off. I was watching Top Gun, but they turned off the AC in a whole movie theater on one of the hottest days of the year. Make it make sense. It's just been me trying to find all the stores that like, have AC because it is so freaking hot. I mean, aside from the fact that like I'm trying to find ACs, um, I am going to London tomorrow. Future Kenisha editing this vlog in her new place. That decision of going to London for AC is one of the worst decisions that you ever made that week. Um, the reason is the title of this video. And it is theorized is because you got so stressed because all the trades keep canceling on you since 6 a.m. that it kind of traumatized you to go anywhere <laughs> in a little bit for the next two months. So, yeah. Aside from me ranting, I think I, I just really need to start off this vlog. So, so come with me and my adventure to London. official um <sighs> fuck i think 2022 might be the worst year ever and i was starting to have like a lot of hope from last week which doesn't make any sense because like i was so ecstatic that like i'm in the kind of like in a place in that like i'm also like doing stuff that like you know excites me but i also had a lot of loss and I had a lot of events and I had a lot of things that I was involved in that I wasn't happy with. I, I just think 2022 is, I don't want to say it's the worst year of my life. It's just that it's so, I always had so much bad luck after the other. And I didn't, like, I didn't want any of it. I don't even know how to make this video. I genuinely think there's so much that I wanted to say on camera about um, everything that I've been through since March of 2022. I feel like I've done so much since then, and now it's July. <laughs> Hello. 
entire world. I was supposed to end and start this vlog in a very very different way, but as you can tell, half of my face is like frozen and I now have to sleep in an eye patch because I can't properly close my eyes. And guess what? According to the NHS website, Bell's palsy is a condition where half of your face is literally frozen and it's usually due because of a rash or a bacterial infection and it snapped a nerve and it just makes your face frozen. It has a recovery rate of two weeks, six months to nine months. According to the website, it's temporarily permanent and 70% of like people who do get Bell's palsy uh, will recover. Also, um, another update, um, I just finished therapy this week, so now I feel it's kind of normal and um, it might have a trouble in the next two months, but fully. So I am banking on getting recovered fully. At the moment, um, this is like the only way I can purge my phone, so we good. Hi! As you can tell, uh, I am still very much affected by my Bell's palsy. Uh, I'm on day 7 on medication, so it has been almost a week since I was diagnosed. My face doesn't feel numb, it hurts, <laughs> my cheeks are like more swollen than it actually was, and uh, I'm just so grateful that like I could still edit my work and like talk because um, I'm just I'm just a little happy being not really I can't really close my eyes properly anyway so there's also that I also can actually brush my teeth properly so there's also that something I really wanted to do um, this year actually is to vlog more and aside from the fact that I like completely just stopped vlogging and like stopped talking about my life because of everything going on behind the scenes and I just feel like it's not you know as fun to portray I think it does uh, mess up the goal of like vlogging more and just generally like create something out of my life as like a video diary but here we are. I am actually going to film something for work. So I hope that like this doesn't like hinder anything. I just have to explain to them that I currently have no palsy. So hopefully they're okay with it. It's also kind of like for some reason the weather here it's like 13 to 17 degrees. And it's like the end of July, which which is very, very weird. Like, it's summer. It's supposed to be like hotter in a sense. So, um, filming went well. Um, they told me not to mask up, but I'm kind of scared when showing people my face. Because the last time I showed it to like my parents, they cried. So, what? Yeah. <laughs> Bella's here to accompany me. So, Bella. My friend Bella here, eating her noodles, is here accompanying me because I am so sad <laughs> being alone all the time. That is you know you can always just message me, can you hang out with me please? And That's I would be true. like, yeah. We're still kind of in the middle of persuasion. No, I want to be in a Hey! <laughs> I feel like um, my face has progressively gotten a lot worse than I anticipated it to be. Um, but today's my last day on medication and I am so happy that I do not need medication anymore. But I still have to follow up with like specialists and stuff like that because obviously this needs to go back. But I went to the eye doctor today and they said that I am recovering. So. That is good because I am recovering. That is very good. But also, I am in pain. <laughs> so, recovery is pain. Okay, something that I've been like totally craving for this past like week or so is actually Hainanese chicken rice. And Leeds doesn't actually have Singaporean places to eat Hainanese chicken rice. So, I ordered it from a Thai place. 
a Thai place. I also got spring rolls in case anybody's asking what I'm actually doing. And this is the Hainanese chicken rice. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, you know, it's not authentic and things like that, but your girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do because she has been craving this for quite some time and she doesn't understand why she's craving it. <gasps> they actually made it with doubt. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Someone needs to take me. I'm obsessed. Okay. Mm, they actually made it without like the bones. They have skin, but they don't have the bones. Which is good. I'm so excited to eat this. Mm. So I am just going to end my vlog here because this is kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm still kind of in medication, but also not in medication. Um, I made sure to compress my face so it's not as swollen, but it's still swollen because of the medication. And I am trying to eat good food because I was having a lot of trouble eating the first three days. And uh, I'm still drinking water from a straw, which is quite helpful. Now to think about it, this is very, very much empty. Um, and yeah i hope you do enjoy lots of vlogs like this because i will be making more of these in the future hopefully um i think it's just a fun little thing that i'm doing where i'm like vlogging my girl's palsy the first time years i don't know because i started the week vlogging and i thought it was going to be like a london vlog no it's not um it's really concerning but uh I guess we make do what we have. So, thank you. Also, bye, Carol. Um, video diary out. <laughs>